Hi, how are you? This is Vinny Sensei. Uh, today I'm not actually going to do an English lesson. I thought it would be interesting to show you a day in my life. Uh, I'd like to introduce Itoshima to you, which is west of Fukuoka, Japan, where I live. So last week was Golden Week and one of my hobbies is cycling. I like long distance cycling. So in Golden Week, I did a couple of days of maybe 120, 150 kilometers. So I decided one day to take a relaxing kind of recovery day and cycle around Itoshima. So I'd like to introduce to you Itoshima and some of the places I went to. Uh, so I started off my journey cycling along Muromigawa, Muromi River, uh, heading towards uh, Saga Prefecture to the south and going past Mount Imori, Imoriyama. Mitsuse and Saga Prefecture are also great places to visit. I love cycling there and I love driving there. There are some great hot springs, there's some great food there, um, some interesting places to visit and a lot of nature. But I'll cover that in another video. So after cycling south along Muromi River, uh, I then turn to the west uh, to cross Imori, Mount Imori. Before doing so though, I had a little bit of breakfast. So there's a picture there of my bike, uh, Pinarello Dogma, and uh, seven coffee, best coffee in Japan, and my favorite nutrition bar as well, a slow bar, choco, chocolate flavor slow bar. So after my little snack and coffee, I headed up Imoriyama. The climb is about 250 meters, um, it's quite comfortable to walk up if you want to. Driving, of course, is going to be much quicker, but on a bicycle as well is okay. And in these pictures, you can see uh, a view from close to the top of Imori and also the summit of the road that crosses over. Uh, as soon as you uh, summit Imori Yama and go down on the other side, you get your first view of Kayasan. Uh, Kayasan is the highest mountain in uh, Itoshima Peninsula and it's referred to as like a little Fujisan or a baby Fujisan and finally there's a little picture of me as well at the bottom of Imoriyama. So I then continued cycling along Route 49 towards Nijo. Uh, there's quite a few things that you can do in the surrounding countryside. There's a list there of uh, local attractions from the signboard I also passed by Raizan Yama, which um, is the second smallest mountain. Uh, Sefuri is the tallest one, uh, and Raizan I think is about a thousand meters, just a few meters below Sefuri. Uh, I also passed a very, very good organic restaurant that I highly recommend, Ito Aguri. I didn't actually go in there this time, but I've been there a few times before. The food there is delicious, the desserts are fantastic and highly recommended. Uh, maybe I'll make another video of that place as well again sometime. So I got to Nijo, but before heading back towards Fukuoka along Route 202, I stopped off at one of my favorite bakeries as well, a Sana Bakery. Uh, this bakery uh, also is organic, it's cheap, the, the bagels are delicious, um, everything there is really really good. Highly recommended. It's usually busy, opens at 10 a.m. Uh, most mornings. Um, sometimes it's very small, so sometimes there's a line of people waiting outside the bakery. Um, but again, highly recommended and one of the main points that I wanted to visit uh, and highlight for you in Nijo. So in Sana Bakery, I picked up a couple of bagels, got back on my bicycle and headed back east towards Fukuoka City following Route 202 along the coast. Um, along the coast there's a very very small shrine, Hakojima Shrine. Um, it's not, uh, the, the actual shrine itself is very small, it's not particularly um, beautiful or particularly interesting, but it kind of juts out away from the road into the ocean and you can see some of the views there from the shrine, including Kayasan. So after cycling back along Route 202 towards Fukuoka, I stopped at Kafuri Koen, Kafuri Park. Uh, this is a very small park. Uh, it's a small hill and it has a very, very nice view of the ocean, very nice view of Kayasan as well. So I stopped there to have a little picnic, ate my bagels and had some Aquarius sports drink. 
Um, I really like this park and I really recommend that you visit it during the cherry blossom season, kind of late March, early April. Um, there's a photo there from about a month or so previous when I visited uh, the same park and the same spot. And as you can see, uh, the park, the, the hill is actually tiered. So it means that um, there are cherry blossom trees growing at a, a lower level than where you can ascend to. Uh, so if you climb higher than the base of the tree, you actually find yourself literally among the, the cherry blossoms. Uh, so very, very nice place to go to. Very beautiful. Highly recommended also. Kafudi Cohen. So after my bagel picnic, I continued to cycle back towards Fukuoka along Route 202. But before I got home, there was one more place I wanted to visit, which was Little Souk, which is a Middle Eastern themed cafe, a few minutes walk from Chikuzen Maebaru station. Again, very highly recommended. Um, a lot of the stuff there is imported. Uh, I had a smoothie, which you can see in the picture, and it was chocolate and banana, and I think either pistachio nut or cashew nut um, blended together there with it. Very, very nice. Again, delicious food. Everything in Itoshima is great, um, and I really, can't highly, I, I really can't recommend it highly enough. Okay, so there you go. That's, um, that was my recovery bike ride, 57 kilometers. Very, very nice, very relaxing, got a little bit of exercise, a lot of sunshine, and had a very, very nice time. I uh, hope you feel inspired to, in to visit some of these places. Let me know in the comments below if you do, or if you have any other recommendations that are worth checking out. So that's it for today. Um, that's, a, if not a full day, a few hours um, in one of my days during Golden Week. So see you next time for some English study. Have a great day. Bye-bye.